Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm showcasing to you the fastest way you can instantly replete the salvage yard over and over again by skipping all the setups and getting straight to the robbery each time. If you guys do enjoy today's video, do be sure to like and subscribe. As in this video, I showcase how you can make 400,000 every 10 minutes. Let's get into it. First of all, what you need to do is make your way into your salvage yard and you need to have the finale robbery unlocked. Once you have the robbery unlocked, all you want to do is start it up. Once you start out the robbery, all you want to do is make your way inside whatever vehicle you have, such as a Mark II oppressor, and make your way over to the police helicopter. Once you're at the police helicopter, you want to then make your way over to the police station, and then drop all the gas grenades down all the vents. Once you dropped all the gas grenades down all the vents, you want to then make your way inside the police station. Once you get down to the first floor, I recommend going first person, then go through the door you see in front of you, and then make way to the left door, and you'll see a police card straight in front of you, you want to then taser him. If you look to the right, there'll be the keys that you need to collect to then get King Terry out. Once you then make your way outside, you want to follow exactly where my character goes, and then make your way all the way down to the cells. Once you get down there, you want to hack into the computer and unlock Terry's door and then escape with him. If you've done it fast enough, you can then run up the stairs and you can pre-aim before the police enter through the door and taser them. Once you taser them, make your way outside, claim the ammo and the weapons, then make your way to your escape car. Once you get inside the escape car, follow the exact route I take. This is the fastest way to lose the cops. It's extremely fast and extremely easy. This saves you from driving around for ages trying to lose the cops. Once you lost the police, you want to then make your way all the way to the airport so then Terry can get inside the helicopter and escape. Once you've done that, make your way to the last location and pick up the car that you need to rob. Once you rob this car, you want to make your way all the way back to your salvage yard. Once you're back at your salvage yard, before you get to the yellow circle, you want to slowly creep up the yellow circle until it puts you into the cutscene. Once you hear yourself getting put into the cutscene, you want to then instantly disconnect your game by quitting application if you're on PlayStation or Xbox or force quitting through Task Manager on PC. Some people say you need to wait until you hear the garage sound before you disconnect, so as soon as you hear the garage sound or the doors coming up, you want to then disconnect your game. If you do it that way, you'll be able to land this every single time. All you want to do is load back into GTA 5 and when you load back in, you'll see you've got the car that you just robbed but the robbery is still able to complete, meaning you can complete robbery over and over again without having to do any of the setups. It's by far one of the easiest and fastest ways to make money in GTA 5 online right now. Hope you guys did enjoy. It's Cos Logo, and I'm out. Peace.